Yeah, that's gone pretty damn good now. Okay. Wow, I do four skills there. Uh, let's pick up... Well, long term, this guy's going to have that. So arguably, I shouldn't pick too many of those. I'll only pick one. Pick both of those. Uh, this guy isn't going to be the senator. I've got one point left. Percentage... Ooh, let's pick the stat, is it? And she got up to level 13. Let's pick that. So we're closing on that, and that's huge skill again. But uh, I can put her out in the field pretty soon. And she'll be freaking amazing. Okay. Uh, this arc. Let's get up to. Oh, that's not good. Close borders, but I'm going to be declaring war on them. Now. I think. Push. Well, let's attack the soft one as well while we're here. Don't see a reason why not. Uh, it's eight, so I won't show this. It's kind of tens the amount I look for. Uh, so smashes. You know what? Is my fleet even that great? 1148. And there's his. It show. Ooh. 15, 15, 27,000. Uh, this might not have been the best of ideas, actually. Uh, I think. I'll move on the rest of my ships then. Because it may attack it if it goes badly. Uh, well, actually, I think I've got two fleets there, so no, I won't. Uh, right, yeah, I will show this then. So let's come into advanced. They're going to use two flotillas. Uh, I think I'll stick that one there then. Stick that there. This I may lose. I think I will put it there, otherwise I'm going to lose the flotilla bonus. So, let's fight. And actually retreat it, so... Hmm. Don't know where to. There or there. Or actually, they probably couldn't have retreated. In actual fact. Right, let's group those up. And... Bring them two turns, two turns. Um, well, the vampires, you know what? I think I'll bring the whole lot there. Supposedly. Uh, right, so needs to clear war now. So let's have a word with Riftborn. What's that? Oh, I can actually force. We can shatter time on a whim. You anger us at your peril. A demand, supposedly. We actually have free de war declaration because the militarists are in control. Um. I'm wondering, do you get a truce or something for a long time if you successfully demand off them? You might. I'm not quite sure how the mechanic works. I don't want to risk that, so I'm just going to declare war. If they refuse a demand, it would be war, basically, but I can't guarantee they would. We have nothing to say to this. Right. For your deeds, a I'm a bit worried now that the they may move you. ships off towards my arcs in certain locations. They could have fleets like uh, here, come down there, before I can stop them. Uh, there's actually some ships here uh, that are going beams, and I'm not designed at all to take those out. But they don't have a lot by the looks of it. 
Okay, I should now be able to move that arc. Let's come up to there. It's not going to have any decent production, so I kind of need to switch it over if I'm going to keep this here, there long term, but I don't really want to. Uh, you don't lose your improvements, of course, when you move the arc, it's just the food. Uh, let's stick that there then, for the time being. Right. Let's move some of this lot then. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm gonna just bring it down straight away. From one to start. Let's get a leech in. Lock it down. Right, I'm probably gonna bring the lot down here, but I'm gonna take a minute to uh figure that out. Definitely need some siege and I'll also do my build list. Here is systems management. This turn I don't think I actually made any changes whatsoever. Uh, Fitzy is looking amazing, especially production of course though, and yeah that's what everything is making. Approval is great as well, I got an extra, I think it's 30 approval isn't it, with the uh, Republic, yeah. Uh, per war, got that for starting a war against the Riftborn, and for that reason, I should probably keep the war against the Sophon going as long as they're not a threat to me, which uh, they don't seem to be, so I'm going to. I just checked this then as well, and it's very low. I think the Empire, well, one of the United Planets' uh, empires was sieging it down, so I'm tempted to invade it now, but I'm out of movement, so it's not as if I can move on, so I might as well wait until next turn. Uh, yeah. I'll bring that up maybe or maybe I'll just wait until I've taken that or that. We'll uh, have to see I guess. I think I'm... Oh and uh, yeah I brought everything down here as well this turn. All the ships that were on Micra or on Neca in that direction. Yeah I think I'm ready to end a turn. I did check to see if I could get peace with the Unfallen or the Horatio or trade maps and yeah I couldn't. They weren't interested. So yeah. Not much to do diplomatically at the moment. Let's end the turn there. When did I do one of these last? Right, need to do that next turn. Okay, so we get that in. Hopefully I can rejig, move my fleets a bit before I get attacked. But I think if they attack me, they might group up a bit anyway. Probably not to what I would want. Okay. New tactic slot is available. I got forgetting that tech as well. It looks like they got some ships here, but they aren't doing anything with them. I'm gonna attack them shortly then. I meant to last turn actually move that wheel and I completely forgot. Uh, right. So let's check out how see how good their fleets are nonetheless, because uh gonna be sending a seeker over here with a fleet or two coming up in a bit. Okay, so it looks like the beam and beam defense. Which, well, I'm torpedo at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch around my racks to go after them by the looks of it. Okay. Let's retreat. Oh, that's not good. Might as well attack. Right. Yeah, I could have had moved it up to there last turn, I forgot. Uh, Lumeris have a trading company, no surprise, and that's probably why they're doing so well on the Dust Victory. Okay, so slot is available. Let's come in here and pick something. So I got some cards relatively recently. Uh, Diplomatic Community, Radiation, Hard Target. Grim Recycling. I actually like Diplomatic Immunity because of the formation flotillas. Uh, its ability is 100% damage absorption by unarmed ships on ships. I think that might have changed recently. I'm sure it was immune before which could have caused a few issues. So if uh, my memory is correct and they have changed it then uh, there was a good change because you could really abuse things for uh, ships that are immune to damage. Uh, right, let's confirm. She could have a defensive ship taking all the shots and not being able to be killed. Uh, that 
that's potentially very useful over later on. This hero is level 4. Let's put that. And. Not sure which one is best, so I don't. Just pick randomly. Can't be asked looking. So, yeah, we got command points and deployment limit, so I can invade with more troops and a tactic. And ear units are unlocked. I may actually use those. Because the Vod Yanni have um, particularly good infantry, plus 20 more than normal, but they don't. I haven't picked any further bonuses from minor races, and some of them are amazing. Um, but I, yeah, I think what I'll do is actually come up here. I have enough of these resources to get that as well. Uh, could sell stuff if I need the money and I probably do come that. Yeah, so we get up to there and I'll get 20% I think. Which will help against the armor. I'm probably not going to use the armor. Right, let's confirm. Right. Oh, I have more money than I thought actually there. I'm sure it said less. Perhaps it didn't. Right. Uh, let's not forget these. Okay, give me a boost, I believe. And uh, when is this one turn for that? Okay, probably another arc in a couple of turns. So let's move my ships on. Kind of stuff got there. I may be placing a seeker this turn. I think I'm gonna wait a tiny bit with that one, but I think I'll use that one. Coming up, I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to figure it out in a second. For the time being, though, what do these have? Beam. Uh, yeah, I have really bad defense against that. Um. So, you know what? Let's upgrade my rack uh, to shields. So, what's just better out of these? Well, I don't have this enough of this resource to use it on defense at the moment, so I'm going to stick uh, with the cheaper option and possibly the worse option. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. Okay, so let's apply design. I can't upgrade those racks, but I can upgrade the ones that should be here somewhere. Ah, actually, they're out of movement, so I can't get them down this turn, like I hoped to. Yeah, I'm going to attack nonetheless, though I need to, otherwise I can't invade. So yeah, it's up to 16 now, so it's, uh, basically I'm getting it from... The gouge, the rack, and the wheel, the extra command point. Sadly, you don't get extra from the leecher, or the arc, or any ones you make. It's just a hull type. Uh, or colony ship, if we had colony ships, but we don't, we have arcs. Okay, alright. Do I have any spear combat ships down here? I'm not even sure I do. Yeah, I do. So, what do I want? Bring another rack couch across. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll put across. Nice attack. Let's have that. I think I'll stick with barrage fire then. Oh, actually, that would be pretty good in this circumstance. Uh, you know what? We haven't seen the Riftborn in combat, the ships. I think I will show this. Let's fight. Might retreat though. Yeah. That's weird. It didn't take much damage. I hope they don't get uh, repair modules when they retreat. They shouldn't do. Come into play. I think the repair modules are possibly too powerful at the moment, actually. 
Might need to rebalance lens. Uh, oh, a couple of ships left here. Yeah, that isn't good. Wanted to invade this turn. Uh, four. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to uh, add attack with something that I wouldn't ro normally attack with here. Some of these vampire ships. I hope they're gonna lose any. So stick uh, that fleet into there. Let's take the transfusion out because they don't have. What do they have? Weapons. They do, but I don't really want to risk those. Let's uh, stick that vampire over there. I think I'm actually at, oh, that wheel, I guess I can stick in that fleet. And I guess I stick one in after all. Let's attack with that. Okay, it took a minute out to rejig this. I'm going to go for power to shield, so we'll attempt to watch this again. And I've stuck... Uh, Transfusion over there, I want to keep that safe. We got missiles, keep it long range. That is a rack, which has a bit of protection against shields. Uh, not even sure it's got more than, uh, yeah, these vampires, to be honest. Um, you know what? I'm going to put a vampire over there then and stick the rack over here. Uh, yeah, let's fight. Hopefully, I'm going to regret in this. They did actually fight. Right, they're keeping it long there, going short there. I could lose that. It's, if I lose it, who cares, really? It's only one ship. We'll see. Let's speed this up. Yeah, even though these ships aren't great in uh, combat, when you've got lots of them, uh, yeah, they will uh, take ships out. So that should now mean I can invade, hopefully. Alright. Uh, Why not? Don't know what that is. I was expecting to be able to invade this turn. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah, the civilian stopped me. I thought I saw something. Now we can invade. Alright, zero. Let's do gorilla fight. Okay, uh, decisive victory. Excellent. Somehow we lost stuff, even though they didn't have anything protecting. That's weird. Very weird, actually. So here is systems management this turn. I'm going to get in these extra manpower buildings since this place has hit a cap on population and I don't really need the food to grow at the moment. I might as well make them, I guess. Other than that, this is what I'm making in general. I don't need the arms for essence this turn because I've got enough from other sources to get the arc next turn if my math is correct. I moved around quite a few ships, I grouped uh, them up quite differently here so I could move across a complete fleet. I'm uh, not sure if you saw me upgrading those racks, but I have done. I also sold a ton of uh, luxuries since the price has increased and I'm actually going to invest a bit here I think as well. I'll just do that on the dust side. And do I have enough for another one? Uh, yeah, why not? One there. And one more there. Okay, so that's done. Good amount of money we're making, certainly now, which increases the chance of a dust victory, a route to go down. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, so. Ton of ships went through there. 
I've unanchored that. I'm actually going to bring that up here now. So I'm going to take a couple of turns. It's going to travel through the Novra system, which could be an issue. Big issue, potentially. Hopefully it's enough to take on anything if anything happens to be there. Uh, what else is going on? I'm about to bring those down here. I've actually already brought a complete fleet down. Okay. I think I had a, I took out a loose gouge ship to bring back to Orient so to stop anyone from colonizing. If it if they do colonize a hunting ground they actually get back uh, the colony that was there with uh, a lot of stuff complete, so it's not good if that happens. Uh, is there anything else to move now? Uh, yeah, I think I did one system growing put them on growing the population as well. Oh, I'm actually got a lot more essence than I thought, so uh probably need to uh not waste that. Gotta find a system I need to uh Yeah, add uh, to in terms of adding population. Let's bring try and bring those through here. Okay. Might be a bit risky. I think they use all their movement up on going through the wormhole. Okay, so how much am I over now? About 500 over. So I need to find a place that has two population. Preferably. It costs 500. So that's one population. That's two. That's two. Actually, that's three. That's two. Uh, that's two. Okay, we'll do Zine, is it? Alright, let's stick in that. I'm not even sure I'm making that at the moment. I have uh, luxuries of them. I have enough approval now. Okay. Yeah, I think that math is correct. Right. Can't attack some out of action points. That fleet there. That's what they have. Right, let's end the turn. So once I take their capital, it's kind of job done. I might have to leave a fleet just to protect against stuff, but then, yeah, I should really be uh, coming after Lumeris next now, because they are imminent. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that there, basically until this round of population, well, pretty much. Comrade. Okay. Yeah, he likes us. Ooh. Am I imagining it? Or does this guy look a bit different to the last guy? I think they've gotten up to the part in their main quest where they can become Sheridan. Friendly. Which is a option for them. Going to refuse that truce from the Riftborn. Okay. Uh, if it mentions... So what? I'd, well, let's click on there. Yeah, see the icon? That's different. Sheridan, yeah. I, I absolutely love the United Planets quest line. It's quite hard. I'm impressed, actually, that the AI's been able to do it by this point. I mean, the human player can definitely do it by this point, but... Uh, I thought it was very hard for the AI to do it. And they have. Uh, this hero got to level 8. Alright, uh, let's get out another science one there. Okay. So Sheridan are very, very militaristic. Right, this guy's up to level 14. Let's pick that. She's up to level 9. I'm considering moving her, actually. Uh, right. Guess I got a science one. And level 14. Let's pick... Ooh. I don't even know what to pick here. Uh, shield absorption, that's just her ship. 
that's just her ship. Uh, that's... Oh! Haven't got that one yet. Okay, well that's easy pick. Yeah, she's nearly... Well, she's arguably ready now to uh, unleash. But I still want that. Uh, how many am I away? One or two away levels, I think. Uh, we got this turn the Letum class, medium hull design. No chance to be targeted module. I put in that next, just to increase my command points. Gonna go for that then, I have a ton of antimatter. Probably then pick up adamantium and antimatter techs. Then I might focus on dust possibly, or more weapons to uh, allow me to really head towards getting that huge amazing fleet that will be great for supremacy. Uh, there's a couple of ships there which isn't good since I uh, don't have a lot of ships there really. Um, let's bring in an arc over here as well which is iffy. You know what? Cancel the movement here. Temporarily. Let's move my ships in. Hopefully group that arc and attack those. That's the plan. Uh, population, Zain and Sin. Alright. Uh, Have I upgraded these? No, that's the old one, isn't it? Yeah. Sign. Let's create that. And sin, wasn't it? Uh, that's got to be new, surely. Yeah. Okay. So, let's... Uh, well, if I attack with the arc this turn, I won't be able to anchor, but... It's not a big issue, really, I think. Uh, so what are they? They're vampires and transfusion. Right, that's a, some proper ships in there. Uh, let's take those out then. Stick out over there. And I'll stick the vampires in. That's 18 now, it's not 16. There. I won't bother upgrading the medium ship probably until I get the uh, upgrade. I don't think I'll make them until then. Uh, what resources did I use now anyway? Um, where is it here? Shield ship. Yeah, it's just five up here in the start, which I lack, which isn't good. Starting to recover a bit though. I haven't been making a ton of ships recently, and I probably have gotten the odd movement to make get more of it, and maybe even taken something. Possibly recently, can't remember. Uh, right, let's attack here. Okay. Let's move these around a bit. Okay, so I've moved my ships around to where I want them. I won't watch this. Let's fight. Power to shields. Ta uh, tactic card. Alright, uh, they retreated. Yeah, no real surprise. Okay. So, um, right, I uh, don't believe, yeah, let's use the action point this turn, so I can't sadly anchor that, but it's not an issue. The rest of those I may well be bringing down here shortly. Before I figure that out, though, I probably need to make an arc somewhere, so where do I make it? Um, good question. Might make it there. That one's got speed module, so what I might do actually is make. Yeah, I'll invade that, put the speedy arc down there, and I'll. Arc I make here now, I'll use that to colonize that. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Oops. Uh, yeah, so put that in there. Okay. Definitely do have an arc to get over towards Limeris at some point as well. Okay, so let's check out down here then. Uh, 
Allied Stiff Fleet, 12, 78, 18, 100 hit points. Alright, so we've got that fleet. Okay, let's drag across a couple of ships into that fleet. Hopefully I've got a couple of gouge spears somewhere here. Alright, so there's one there and one there. Okay. Let's attack. Two spirit ships, which are the medium attack ships. Alright. It's very much on the uh, beam side. Let's give power to shields. Uh, let's get that there. Right, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I won't watch this one. Let's fight. Decent chance to retreat. that fleet and I don't really have a fleet to attack that this turn I think. Ooh and a second they're all short. Completely short. Um well that would be tempting to attack with that. It's crazy hit points, okay defense, not much attack is the issue. I should probably wait to turn, but I have to say I'm tempted. 